Hi guys, welcome to Vlogmas day four. Oh my gosh. As you can see from the video from yesterday, we have been struggling already and it makes me so sad because I have been planning Vlogmas for the last month and having the power go out was horrible. Like I did not have any service, any power, any water, nothing. <laughs> Anyways, today I am going to the products that I have been loving through the month of November. So if you would like to see that, then just keep on watching. Okay, so should I get the makeup out of the way? Yeah, we're gonna do that. So the two makeup products that will probably come to no surprise is the Too Faced Love Blush Blush in Baby Love. I've met I have mentioned this blush all November, so I'm pretty sure you guys knew this would be in my favorite um and your girl is putting some work in here look at that i'm trying to hit pan and i want to see how many months it takes me i know a couple youtubers one of them kelly gooch it has taken her over eight months to finish this or hit pan so i want to see how long it takes me um the next favorite is great i don't know why i waited so long to try it and this is the covergirl lash blast volume mascara this is everyone's og mascara back in the day this is great i don't know why i waited so long i just i don't know i have a weird thing with covergirl i don't know if i want to try their makeup i just i just i don't know i don't really feel drawn to their makeup so i don't know but yeah this is amazing i love it and i will be repurchasing this the next favorite is the aquifer healing ointment i have been on an aquifer kick for the last year and i decided to get this instead of the actual chapstick just because i keep losing the chapstick yeah so i decided to get this one and it's literally the same thing but it's not like the chapstick topper but it all works the same honestly i love it it's been great especially during the winter time so on to the random favorite so the next thing that i have been using on my skin to keep me hydrated is the physician's formula skin booster vitamin shot looks just like this okay first of all i am so scared of using these like elixirs because i tried a pixie one a few years ago and it really burned my skin like i have i'm still trying to heal my skin from it i have really bad patches on my cheeks and i'm pretty sure it's from using that um so i have tried not to use any elixir like this but i on a whim i went and bought this and this has helped so much i usually wear it in the mornings before i do my makeup but since i don't wear foundation this is like a good moisturizer so the next moisturizing thing that I have been loving is the Drunk Elephant B Hydra Hydration Serum. You guys know if you were here with me for last Vlogmas, I was raving about this so much. Now that I actually have it for a year and I haven't really touched it since the winter time, so I brought it back out. Um, this is really good, but I keep finding myself having to do it more than once. So when I do use this the first time, I pump it like four times so I get a lot. Why do I, why is my chin red i don't know i get a lot to put over my skin and then i go with another round of it i don't know i feel like this does not give me enough but it is good for a base and then i would add this together these work really well together so i don't know why my face looks so like hit <laughs> it looks so bad right now. okay so the next product that i have been loving so much is this diffuser i bought this diffuser from marshall's and it was only 14 dollars. and this is great because it is it glows it's like a nightlight it glows up different colors it's so awesome it is really small so you can and it has a four hour timer so if you leave this on it will automatically turn off in four hours and i like this for nighttime because it helps me wind down and i don't have to worry about waking up to turn off so it will automatically turn off at like 2 a.m for me which is great um and i always use lavender or this sleepy time oil that i got from marshall's as well i also really like this lemongrass this helps me stay alert and get stuff done like i don't know what is in it but so i really love this diffuser and i think this would also be a really awesome gift 
for teenage girls or older girls in their 20s. Honestly, any woman would like one of these diffusers because they're just awesome and you can also turn it off so you don't have to have like the changing rainbow colors. So that's a good option for it too. But yes, this is a good gift to give your woman or any girl in your life. I made a latte and it's starting to kick in. Like, look at this. It's kicking in. We are getting videos filmed today. The next thing, I have been talking about this for a few months and obviously it's the Green Mountain Nan Tucket Coffee. I love this so much. This is literally my favorite coffee. I can drink this black and that's saying a lot. Um, it just tastes so good. Anybody who wants to try it, I highly recommend trying Green Mountain. I was just getting so used to my Starbucks brand. I found this one and it's literally so great. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend this brand. In stores, they don't sell it in the bags, so you might have to order it online, but they do have like a 12 pack for like 10 or $12. Um, I recommend getting that to start off. This is great. I really don't like using K-Cup. They didn't have the bag and I was just trying it out. So another favorite is the Mrs. Myers Multi-Surface Apple Cider Scent Spray. I'm so happy I bought this. I love this so much. I clean, the, clean with this around my whole bedroom and in the bathroom. I spray it as a air freshener because it smells so good. I don't think you can buy this anymore, but it smells amazing. It's apple cider and Mm, I love it. I just love it. And the thing that I have been loving are these velvet scrunchies. I got these from Ulta and they are so pretty. It comes with a black, a cheetah print one, and a nude one. I love it so much. They're cute to wear. They are good for your hair and they're just amazing. And they look really cute with your Apple Watch. Mine is charging, but it would be on this hand with my Apple Watch. So, yeah, I love it. It's velvet, so what else can't you not love about it? So, the biggest thing that I have been loving so much for November, honestly, I've been using this all year since I got it in July, and it has helped me stay organized so much. It's, it has helped me stay on top of paying my bill. I love it a lot, and this is the Erin Condren Planner. This is amazing. This is the monthly deluxe so it only, it only shows each month, like the monthly spread. Let me show you. It only shows a monthly spread and you get to decorate however you want it. So I literally just put like my bills and things that I had going on. And I bought stickers to, to decorate it, which made it really fun to do. And it just has helped me stay on track. And I do like weekly check-ins where I check in how much money I spent during the week. And I also do my debt tracker, all that stuff. And this planner is great. I'm not sponsored by them. They don't know who, they do not know who I am, but hopefully one day will, they will sponsor me because I love this planner and I will forever buy this. And they also have different layouts that you can do. So that's even better. So now let's get on to our fails of November. So the first one is this deodorant and this is by Dove and this is the Sensitive. I really love Dove. Like they're my favorite brand for deodorant but this specific, specific one just doesn't work. I feel like usually I put my clothes on and then I put it on and it is fine but I can't do that with this. I literally have to put this on first and then wait like a couple minutes before I put my clothes on and I still like can smell myself. So I don't know what it is with this sensitive one, but I will not be repurchasing this. As soon as I'm done with it, I'm throwing it in the trash and not buying it again. The next thing that I am sadly disappointed about is the Zodiac makeup palette. This is the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop collab. I love ColourPop. I don't really care for Kathleen Lights, but I thought I would love this palette because I wanted it for so long. And honestly, I don't like it. Yo, the caffeine is kicking in so hard. These are not blendable. I cannot get them to look right when I use it, especially Taurus. Like, I cannot get it to blend right for the crease. But I do use the Virgo for my eyebrows since I have not bought an eye a new eyebrow pencil. But other than that, like, the colors do not blend as well as I thought they would. 
The um, glitter goes all the way up my eyelid. It goes past my crease and I also get it like down under my eyes and it's just a hot mess. So I try not to use this as much. Yeah, that's all I got to say about this palette. I would not recommend this for people who do natural eye looks or like don't have much skill because you literally will be sitting here and blending for 20 minutes just to get the look. So this is a no. Pretty packaging, but it's a no. And the last fail that I'm sad to say is the NYX Professional Eyebrow Pencil. And this is in taupe. This I got in taupe because I thought it was my color. It looked like my eyebrow color, but it's too light. And it keeps breaking. It broke on me every single day. And it finally broke and I can't use it anymore because it's all gone. So I just use a spoolie to comb my eyebrows up and that's it. So I would not recommend this NYX pre Precision Eyebrow Pencil because it just, it breaks. It just breaks. So, yeah. Okay, so that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my video for today. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe down below. I am posting every single day in December until Christmas. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my video tomorrow.